What is going on guys? My name is Brent and welcome to part four of my tutorial series on how to create the game Flappy Birds. So this is one of the videos you've been waiting for because we're actually going to render something to the screen that looks like a game. Uh, so we're going to make this basically a menu screen, a uh, trivial one. Uh, it's got a background and a play button. So in order to do that, we need some images. I've got two images, background PNG and play button.png. I'm going to copy those. And if you remember from my previous tutorials, I said that all of libgdx, uh, the default directory is in the Android assets uh, directory. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that in our Android assets directory. So there we go. Now inside of our menu state, uh, we're going to create uh, two new variables, background and play button. Uh, so private um, texture, uh, background, oh, texture, background, and then private texture play button. And then we'll create those background equals new texture and we'll just give it a string with uh, the path to from the assets folder so the background will be uh, bg.png and then we'll copy that and it will be play button and this will be for the play button Now to render those to the screen, we'll use our render method and we have a sprite batch. Now a sprite batch needs to open and close basically. Think of it as a container. First you have to open the box up, uh, put everything you want to it and then close the box up and then it uses everything in the box to render things to the screen. So to open the box up, we're going to sb.begin. Now we can start drawing. Um, so sb.draw and we can give it the background and then it takes some more. It takes our position on an X and Y uh, axis. Um, so 0, 0 will be the bottom left hand corner. We'll, it will start to draw our image um, and then we need to get um, the width and the height of the screen that we want to use. So in our case it's uh, flappy bird demo dot width and flappy bird demo dot height for that one and then the next thing we're going to draw is our play button so sb dot draw our play button and we are going to the x coordinate will be uh, flappy demo dot width um, divided by two minus um, play button dot width uh, get width divided by two. So um, it, we're taking it in half, but that would draw it on the the right side of the half. We need to subtract the length of the play button in half, so it, it's basically fully centered. Um, maybe I can find a better way to demonstrate that later. Um, and then the height of this one will be, or where it's going to be drawn in the height will be uh, floppy demo dot height divided by two. And if we don't um, give it a width and a height, it will use the default um, what it actually is in the image. So, and to close the box, actually, we have to do sb dot end. So let's go ahead and hit the run button up here. It'll load up our window. Hopefully we see everything correctly. So it rendered the background and then the play button. Now let me describe what I did here. Um, Flappy bird window dot width um, would be the full length of this window from the here to here. Now divided by two would put it somewhere right here. Now if I drew the image right here, the image would start and it would come over here. So it'd be offset a little bit. What we needed to do was subtract half of the length of this image from this location. So if this was 100 pixels, we would move over 50 pixels and start drawing it right here. We don't want to draw it starting completely in the center. We want to draw it offset so when it is drawn, it looks like it's centered. 
So I just want to reiterate how important it is to realize that we start drawing images from the bottom left hand corner in spreading uh, to the right and upwards from that area. And understanding that will help uh, in future tutorials when we're working with the math of uh, making graphics appear to be where they're supposed to. So I think we'll stop there for this video. We created two new textures, a background and a play button, and use the sprite batch to render those to the screen. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And of course, if you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon and give you two big thumbs up for that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.